Welcome back everyone. Welcome back all of my YouTubers in YouTube land. Um, do you suffer with ear infections and ear aches, getting water trapped in your ear? Do you suffer with allergies? Do you suffer with puffy eyes? If so, stay tuned and I'm going to teach you how to do lymphatic massage. Since I have learned how to do it, it's been incredible. Stay tuned for more. Hi everyone! So if you're wondering why I've got all of this crazy stuff drawn on my face, it's actually instructions for y'all. Since I was 12 years old, I've been suffering with ear infections, ear aches, water trapped in my ears. The doctor and I had discussed ear tubes. I didn't want to do it. I was constantly having to put those swimmers ear drops in my ears, get cortisporin um, prescriptions, just constantly stuff in my ears. Using the wax, you know, plugs that go in your ears, it was very uncomfortable and annoying when, whenever I went swimming or even wash my hair. It was nearly every day of my life that I had to use some sort of drops, something. Um, allergies. For y'all that know me well, know that mine are full-blown, can give me a fever, put me on the couch, flat-out, insane allergies. Um, and let's see, what else? Uh, under, under eye puffiness. Probably a lot from allergies, a lot from swelling. I am going to show y'all a remedy for all of that. It's called lymphatic massage. I have arrows. If you can... There we go. Arrows drawn all on my face. Always working outward up here. Downward here. And then on the side we've got going downward. So, what is lymphatic massage? It is getting the fluids in your lymph glands to move. That is what's making us feel sick. That's what's giving us ear infections. It's not giving us allergies, but I can show y'all what to do to get some relief from the allergies. In here, fluid stuck in the lymph areas. We're going to get all of that flushed out. So, the first thing I'm going to show y'all to do will be for the ears. You don't want ear tubes. You want to quit using all the ear drops and stuff. Here you go. I've got some dark places drawn here, which is where y'all want to start. If you feel along your bone here, you'll come up to another bone that goes up. Or is that cartilage? It might be cartilage. I'm not that kind of doctor. I want you to go right in between those two areas with your fingers like this. And I want you to press. You don't have to press hard. Press about as hard as much pressure as it would take to push a coin across the tabletop. And you're going to do that. I would do about 50 of them because you. this is what's going to get everything moving. You always start here. A lot of people say that they can feel the lymphatic fluid moving. I cannot, but I will get it into my throat and have to clear my throat you will probably at least feel that. That kind of primes. This is kind of priming everything. If you need to, pause the video so you can continue. But I'm going to go ahead and move on from here. Ah! I left out an important part here. Ah, my oil. You should never do any of this. This is okay. What we were just doing, that's fine without oil. All you're doing is pressing in slightly. Any other part of your face that you're going to be moving around on needs some oil. I'm using my vitamin E, rose hip, and coffee oil. But this is too rich to use on my face every single day. And I do lymphatic massage every single day. So if your skin tends to be on the oily side or you find this too rich for you like me, use it just every other day and switch out with some grapeseed or some coconut oil for oily skin or like mine, combination skin. So, we're going to come up here, not 
behind the ear, like almost right there where your earlobe begins. And we're going to press in and down. So you're kind of moving like this. Okay. And I'm going to do that at least 20 to 25 times. Again, just enough to where you're pushing a coin across the table. It does not have to be hard pressure. Right up underneath the jawbone. And I got the line drawn. It's probably gone now from the oil. Working your way down. And if you want to, you can take your two fingers and just ever so slightly glide them down. Either way works. You're going to do it about 20 to 25 times. And I can feel, I cannot feel the fluid moving, but I just felt it in my, going into my throat. This feels really good, too. Okay. So, if you need to, again, pause the video. Do that 20 to 25 times. Then, uh, what is it? Live long and prosper. Stance with your hands. Stance? Is that? No. But that's how you're going to um, do your fingers. Nanu, Nanu, Spock. You're going to put two on the top of your ear and two up underneath behind. And you're going to press in and down. Up, um, let go. In and down. In and down. So it's kind of this motion. And again, if you want to, just take your hands and just move them yourself. Start at the top and work your way down. Lift, start at the top, work your way down. Lift, start at the top, work your way down. And you're going to do that 20 to 25 times. And of course you can do that same pressure like I showed you before if you don't want to move your hands. Whichever way you prefer, they both work. So again, pause if you need to catch up. So we're going to move to the back of my head. Baby, can you come over here and hold my hair up for this? Because I'm going to have to demonstrate the back of my head. Make sure that the back of my head's in the video, please. Is it? Is all my hair up? Okay. So for this, we're going to put our fingers cross them like this, put them on the nape of the neck, press, now again, not hard, and down, up, press, down, up, press, down. I'm not sure why this is necessary, but I've tried leaving it out, and I don't get quite the same effects. And we're going to do that about 25 times. And again, pause if you need to, to do these. Okay, babe, thank you. Okay. So, we're going to come back to the ears. And we're going to go, you see where the hairline is? We're going to go right below that. And we're going to press in and go down. Like a snake. Make sure you have plenty of oils on your hand. Make sure that plenty of oil is on your fingers so that you do not drag any skin because if you want to pull like this, that's perfectly acceptable. Don't do it. Don't press too hard. Don't. You don't want to be dragging your skin like that. That Gravity is doing enough of a job without our own help. And that's why usually I do prefer this method. It's less gravity on your skin. But sometimes when I'm feeling lazy or I just want a good massage... I will pull down at it just a little bit. And you want to pull it down to your jaw 20, 25 times. Then you're going to go to the back of the ear. And right behind your earlobe, you're going to feel this little soft spot. That's what you're going to massage. And you're going to start at the top of your earlobe where the soft spot is. And you're going to rub down that whole soft spot. I don't know if y'all can see that. Rubbing it down. Again, 20 to 25 times. Or you can do the little snake movement. The little right there as well. Whichever you prefer.
then we're going to reverse all of our movements. Okay? So we're going to go back to the back of the neck again. Well, actually not all of the movements, but a few. Back to the back of the neck again. You're going to do that 20 to 25 times. Listen, sometimes I do 50 times of each. And that will save me some, like, if I just wash my hair and I go ahead and do it, if I really take my time and give them each 50 times and redo them, I probably won't have to do it that night. But if I don't do that many and I don't take my time, then I'm likely to have to do it again that night while I'm laying in bed. Not much, but, and you know, it's totally worth it. I'm not taking any medications for this, and I'm getting a massage, and I'm cured. I've healed myself. Okay, so I'm done massaging the back of the neck. Again, 20 to 50 times, whatever you feel like doing. Move on to the area right here below the jaw. Come forward. You know what? I forgot about the live, live long and prosper. We'll do that next. So we'll go ahead and go to the live long and prosper move. And just continue. I am going pretty fast so that this video doesn't take 10 years. Then come down to the neck like we were just doing. Again, at least 20 times. And then you're going to go back to the little V area. That's what it is. It's a V right there between the bones. And that's how you're going to finish it off. And I, yeah, I don't feel it moving, but I have got some stuff in my throat. <coughs> you can kind of clear it out. Okay. So, that's it. That is how to get the lymph node, um, the lymph fluids moving through your lymph glands. And for me, I have not gotten an ear infection since I've been doing it. I've been doing it for, what, about three months? Three, maybe four months? Something like that. I have not had an ear infection since. And I have only had to use ear drops, drops twice. And that was when I was swimming on top of washing my head and all this. And it was just to get a little bit of water out um, because it had built up. Only twice when I was using it every day in all of these months, I am a happy girl. Okay, so next we're going to work on the allergies, the nasal allergies specifically. So, I actually learned this just as it was an accident. If y'all haven't watched my derma rolling video, it's before this one. Give it a watch and you'll see what I'm talking about. Our forehead sinuses are connected to our nose. And one night I was laying in bed and it dawned on me that when I mess with my forehead with the derma roller, I feel it in my nose. It activates my nose. So I was laying in bed. I could not breathe. It was just unreal. And I was suffering. I was just in misery. And I thought, hmm. So I started massaging my forehead like I learned to do in cosmetology excuse me, like I learned to do in cosmetology class. And lo and behold, my sinuses opened up enough to where I was able to go to sleep. And I was just amazed. And I've done it a couple times since. And you can feel it. You can feel it moving. You can feel it adjusting. This has not been a cure-all for me, but it has been very helpful. And the only thing I do, y'all can see the outward arrows always go outward is I place two to three fingers up here with my oil. And I imagine y'all can snake, do this like little snake fingers too. But I like the rub. I like the massage. Y'all are going to interlock and go outward. Massage the temple. Go nice and slow. Go slower than what I'm going so that you enjoy the massage. I could almost go to sleep while I'm doing this stuff. Again, no hard pressing. If you press hard and you're doing it on your temple as well, you're going to cause a headache. Don't do that. It's not good. Okay. Y'all get the gist of that? Um, do it until you are feeling better. I don't, I don't have a recommended number of times. I do it until I can tell a difference. 
another exercise on our forehead that we were taught to do in cosmetology school. You use your ring finger and you go down, making X's, downward, lift and down, cross hatching all across your forehead. I haven't noticed as good results with that, but it feels good. Okay, now on to the puffiness under the eyes. We want to get all of this down to here. So, you see that I have arrows this way, this way, this way. That's the direction that you're going to want to go. So I'm going to start right here with my ring fingers very gently. And I'm going to go down and around very slowly. Little circles. I'm not moving across. I'm just making little tiny circles with my ring finger right here by my nose, by my eye. I'm going to do at least 10 of those going slower than I'm going now. I'm going faster so that this video, like I said, isn't a million years long. Scoot over. I'm going to do the same thing. Working your way outward. Don't you pull that skin too much. This is delicate skin. You don't have to press really hard. And if your eyes are extra puffy on that day, you should get a little bit of tearing in the corners and maybe the outer edges. Sometimes mine will water while I'm doing this because it's pushing all the, fl the puffiness, the fluid out. And there goes some fluid right there. Once I'm on the outer edge, I'm going to come up here above my eyebrows and the same thing. You're always going to want to work outward. Up and outward. Up and outward. Up and outward. If y'all need to pause to do these, please do. You can catch up. This feels amazing and it's good for your skin. It's like a little mini facial. Again, I am going super fast. Y'all want to go much slower than this to make sure that y'all get it all. And then, right here, back here, where we started, and we're going to carry it down the nose. I'm not exactly sure what this does, but it's supposed to be good for the puffiness. Now, what to do with all that fluid? Let's take it all the way to the outside. And down the face. To the outer side of my face, working down. You're always going to want to go down. Getting rid of all of this nasty fluid. sure. I knew I was puffy, but I didn't realize I was quite that puffy, because I definitely feel, feel it in my throat. Back to the priming area. Just press it in slightly. Yes, I'm drowsy now, y'all, <laughs> and I've still got more videos to make for y'all. Well, I hope that there are some of y'all out there that find us very useful and very helpful. If y'all know of anybody that suffers from allergies, puffiness, ear infections, ear aches, send them this video. Pass it along. Don't be stingy and use it all for yourself. But I hope y'all enjoyed. And remember, until next time, take good care of yourself. Thanks for watching.